Well, putting the album together um, was a little bit like a musical scrapbook. I called the album Bigger Picture um, because it it's a little bit like the way I used to collect uh, scrapbooks when I was younger and I would put everything together and it had everything from you know your high school prom photos to your sixth grade report cards or um, valentines from junior high that were handmade and I realized that I, as I was um, looking through them that scrapbooks gave way to photo albums which gave way to digital and that I didn't really keep much of the physical anymore. I still have all my music tickets, like I have every concert ticket that I've ever gone to. I have, if I got a backstage pass, I have that, but now I just keep them in a box. But this album was more like a musical scrapbook, so I took songs that I had and um, loved, and they were mostly ballads, that reflected what you feel like when you're looking back at your life in a way. And sometimes I think it's about a bit of identity. If you've lost a sense of who you are, you I would look back at these photo albums and I'd look at the little girl from sixth grade and say, how did she get from there to there? And how were those dots connected? And sometimes it's wistful and sometimes it's sad because there are people in your life that aren't there anymore. You, they've passed away or moved on and also um, there's a lot of joy in there too. So that's sort of the genesis of how it came to be. There have been times in my life where I've thought, you know, who am I? What am I doing? What am I trying to do? What am I trying to say? And who am I as a person now? And I wanted to write about that experience of someone who's maybe lost and is on the edge of not knowing who they are or what to do and that sometimes if you look back on your life that you might be able to find some um, ways to connect the dots to how you got to where you're going so that you can move forward. I wrote a song with Christian Bush from the band Sugarland called Heart He Handed Down. And it was about my dad. I had done a genealogy show uh, called Who Do You Think You Are a few years ago. And what they do in that show is they take you and tell you everything about your life that you didn't know. And typically it will go all the way back generations. But when they saw what my dad's story was, it became the story of the TV show and what had happened was my dad was born in Greece and raised in Bulgaria and when he was a young man he tried to escape Bulgaria after the war and he got caught and they said if you do that again um, you're gonna be put in jail and um, he tried to escape again and he was put into a very severe labor camp and even in that labor camp, he said, I can't be here. And he risked his life to escape the labor camp, which he did, taking along a friend with him. They made their way to Turkey. He got a job on a freighter, brought his friend Richard on the boat with him, snuck him on as a stowaway. And my dad was the guy who shoveled the coal on the boat. He was Stevador. They made it to Philadelphia. They jumped ship, which is what they called it back then and my dad made his way to New York and had his vision, which was freedom, and he completed it. And he had seen a movie where Chicago was in the movie, and he said, that's it, that's the place I wanna go. And I thought about the vision and the strength that my dad had, and that if he was able to do that, then maybe that's something that could be passed down to your kids and to your grandchildren, that kind of, um, courage, I suppose. Storytelling is so important, and I think that's why this album for me is an album I really wanted to make because of the stories being told. It's not just familial stories, but stories of relationships and stories of history and stories of pain, and I've always been attracted to songs that have good stories in them, so hopefully, hopefully people will agree. I don't know. <laughs> Thank you. 
Well, it's funny, um, when I was a kid, I loved country music, but I think the country music came from the fact that there were great stories. But then when you look at just great songwriters, take the Beatles, take Eleanor Rigby, or She's Leaving Home, and those stories were so powerful and evocative. So I've always been attracted to the story, first and foremost, in a song. And so um, I write between Nashville and Los Angeles, so I write pop and I write country, and I, I don't judge it, I just write because I want to know what the good story is. And when I got done writing, and I mean, we're talking a lot of songs, I realized that I had a cross between country and pop. And so I thought at first I would do a mashup of country and pop, but I had so many songs that I thought, okay, well, I'm gonna do a separate country album, separate pop album, and people will either, you know, respond or not. What can you say? But if you like a good story, then it shouldn't matter. I, I really reject genres in a sense. I feel like when, when you know, radio, terrestrial radio was, uh, you know, when I grew up, it was all genres. So I was exposed to the Beatles, the Beach Boys, Frank Sinatra, Elvis, the Supreme, Stevie Wonder, Willie Nelson, Dolly Parton, Johnny Cash, everything was mixed up together. And I feel that that kind of exposure can help define your musical tastes and um, kind of who you are as a person in a way. Some damn good music. We're gonna be some music. I wrote one song called Big City Small Town Girl because I grew up in the Hollywood Hills, but I had immigrant parents. So I was a first generation American and I grew up in Hollywood and yet I grew up with these small town values and for me, that was uh, kind of unusual because when people think you grow up in Hollywood, they think that you must, you know, know movie stars or something like that. I never knew anybody in showbiz, but I did go to the movies on Hollywood Boulevard at the Chinese Theater and um, eat at the famous restaurants like Musso and Frank's. And yet, at the same time, my dad was a bartender, so I had these sort of not exactly blue collar, but we'll call it that for the sake of describing it, uh, values. So for me, it was um, a great opportunity to grow up with a really solid core family, and that gave me the security I needed to go out into the world and be exposed to everything else. Well, I'm going to do, uh, hopefully the country album will be out by then, it's finished, so uh, I'll do a lot of songs from uh, Bigger Picture or the Rita Wilson album, which, by the way, took me a really long time to come up with that title, Rita Wilson. I had to meditate on it, I um, and uh, lots of new music, music from Bigger Picture, and uh, we're just going to have a kick-ass time because it's a blast. I'm so excited from being a native Los Angelino, like, going out to that festival and uh, being in sort of my hometown is going to be really fun. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe for more videos from your favorite artist. And while you're here, check out these other videos.